Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Beamer Barn. Today, we're gonna to be testing out the injectors on my friend's N54 motor because we think that they are leaking fuel into the cylinders. He's got kind of a rough start, so when he gets the car started, like cold start, or even just like between short trips, if the car is warm, it'll start to stumble on idle, and specifically at like red lights as well, it just doesn't exactly idle perfectly. We did already replace the ignition coils and spark plugs and this was actually the car that I sold to him so I did all the service on it myself and I know for a fact that the injectors are probably bad and we've replaced a couple of them with used injectors just to keep his car running a couple of them did die so now finally we're gonna be testing all of them to determine which ones are still bad and then we're gonna install some used n54 index 12 injectors that we got off of eBay that have low mileage and hopefully those resolve his weird cold start issues and give him some better performance so without further ado I hope you guys enjoy the video be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and let's go ahead and get right to work so we've let the car cool down and remove the engine cover as you can see here so we have access to all the injectors. These are held in by an e-torx bolt at the bottom here just by two injectors at a time and then a 14 millimeter to remove the hard fuel lines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove all six injectors and then we're gonna point them actually into the air here or if we can, we're gonna point them in one direction, at least if we can get a towel down under them. We want to point them in the air so that we can test the car and get fuel rail pressure from the high pressure fuel pump with the injectors closed and see if any of them are leaking because my theory is that a few of these might be leaking and causing this car to run lean and also that hard start condition where it takes a while for the engine to crank over and build the fuel pressure because it's supposed to hold that fuel pressure and start instantly. So let's go ahead now, remove the injectors, really simple, and then we'll test them all out. So now we've got all the injectors lined up, like I said, just hanging in the air here by the hard line of your fuel rail. Now the injectors are not connected to the plug for the harness on the engine, so they will not be allowed to open. And we're also going to disconnect all the connectors for the ignition coils as well, because we don't want any residual fuel in there to ignite, which might cause the car to, you know, shoot some oil or fuel out of the cylinder here. So what we need to do now is connect the battery, make sure that all these fittings are good because it's gonna throw some pressure from the fuel pump up here. And once we know that all these are tight, we can go ahead and turn the motor over and determine which of these, if maybe a few of them, maybe none, maybe all of them are leaking out fuel. All right, so right here, I'm just checking these connections, making sure there isn't any fuel and everything looks dry so far, all the injectors as well. So let's go ahead now and crank the motor. All right, so we did that test and clearly we have some fuel because you can see it on the paper towels here. But if you just touch the tips of the injectors here, it's gonna be cylinder number two, which is definitely wet. Three looks dry. I think we just have some overspray from the injector number four here, which has definitely failed. Uh, number five, also dry. And then number six, that one had like a really, like a stream coming actually straight up at us. So that was pretty funny to see. But uh, yeah, anyways, that's just how we tested it. We marked off all these bad ones. You know, they might be able to be cleaned or refurbished. They might have some value to someone. But now what we're gonna do is install those Index 12 injectors with fresh crush seals and Teflon seals as well. 
and that should completely resolve us of this issue. I don't think we have any need to test them because I think it's gonna run a ton better. And these only have 20,000 miles since they were purchased secondhand. So let's go ahead now, disassemble our Frankenstein monster here and install our new injectors. Eventually. So all of our injectors are installed now and we coded them individually using BMW's INPA program that made it really easy to get all the correct numbers in there. And now we can go ahead and start the car, but keep in mind since we just changed all the injectors, we're gonna have low fuel pressure. So the first time that we try to get it started, it should kind of stumble for a minute, but then we'll turn the car off and then back on again and it should start up pretty cleanly. Stop. Now start up again. Eventually. So as you can see, we have the engine completely buttoned up and the car was running a little bit so-so for a second there, a little bit rough, but after we turned the car off, we reset all the adaptations on the motor and everything should balance out and hopefully over the next 200 miles run a ton better. Now, if it doesn't, then we might have had a case of bad injectors that we bought secondhand, so we may end up having to test these, but it's getting a little bit late out tonight. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching and learned something about testing your injectors. So that's gonna conclude our video for today and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. After we did that reset of adaptations and took the car on a longer drive, it actually started to act a lot better at red lights and starting the car up. And now I'll go ahead and show you guys a video of it starting a few days later in Max's garage and you can hear how smooth the cylinders are. <laughs> So if you guys are having similar symptoms out of your N54 335i car and it's having a weird misfire at idle and you have replaced every single other service item, well, it might be worth testing your injectors to see if they're leaking and then replacing them as well. So I hope you guys learned something from the video and if you don't mind, be sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet. And as always, we'll see you next time.